All right, what's going on guys? Welcome back to another video. This one's not going to be a gaming video. I'm actually going to do a video on replacing these mice feet once again. It's about that time. I think the feet that I currently have on here are the Tiger Ice Skates, and I really think that they're pretty worn out at this point. So I mentioned on Twitter like several days ago that I ordered some core pads and so I'm going to put those on here in this video today. But before we do that, I did just want to play a quick sound clip of the Tiger Ice Skates here on the Skypad 2.0 um, so you can hear what I'm talking about. It's pretty scratchy. Um, doesn't sound great. So I'm going to put that clip on there and then we'll work on swapping these feet out. So yeah, as you can hear, pretty scratchy. Like it's it's pretty loud. Now you know I pointed the the mic down there so I could pick it up and everything. But what I want to do is a little before and after. So that's what it sounds like with these tiger ice on there. I'm pretty much done with these mice feet. I think I'm gonna pull them off. Um, it's just it's been kind of a chore to use them. So let's swap these out, and I'm gonna put on the core pads, which I actually have right here. Um, just regular core pad. It says. Skates Pro 210 um, replacement mouse feet for the Logitech G Pro X Super Light, which is what this. Um, we're gonna work on swapping everything out, and yeah, we'll see what it. Um, we'll see how it compares. All right, so a couple tools we're gonna need. They do provide you with little alcohol wipes here. Um, we can use those to clean it, or and, uh, I have rubbing alcohol over here. So I'll probably just use this. But some tools you might want to get: rubbing alcohol, or use the pads they provide. Some form of cloth. I prefer microfiber myself when I'm doing stuff like this, um, but any cloth would work just, you know, to clean it up. I'm also going to need a little screwdriver to help kind of pick up these old feet and take these off. So this is kind of the stuff you're going to need. All right. I'm going to take a little screwdriver. Just got a little flathead screwdriver. And uh, if you look on the super light, which I should turn off, there's actually a little notch right here. Again, the camera's probably not going to focus for me, but there's little places on these um, on the bottom of the mouse where you can insert a screwdriver, get underneath these to lift them up. On the sensor ring, you just want to be real careful not to ever put the screwdriver in there on the sensor itself. You don't want to scratch that. But this is pretty much as easy as just like getting the screwdriver underneath here and gently prying them up. I'm having a little bit of a hard time getting underneath here. There we go, about got it started. There we go. One sheet of PTFE up. Now I just gotta get this old adhesive off here. I'm gonna do the same thing. There, let's see what I think about that. I kinda zoomed in a little bit, so maybe I'll see what I'm doing. But yeah, we're just gonna peel this old adhesive off here. Just gently getting underneath. This one is usually pretty easy. Just gotta get it lifted and then you can just peel it off. Zoop. There you go. Easy work. I'm gonna go out away from the sensor and underneath just like that. Very easy. Uh, get it off there. Just like that. Looks like I've actually gotten underneath the adhesive on this first one. The first go. Nice. Well, the Teflon's still gonna come off before the adhesive, but that's all right. There we go. It's actually on there pretty freaking good. That's everything off. Where's the camera? Here it is. There we go. That is everything off. We are back down to bare plastic. This is where you want to be. If you still have like a foam pad or any kind of glue, plastic looking sheet, anything, you want to get that off. You want this down to screw holes, bare plastic. This is where you want to be. But now we can put the core pads on. But before we do that, I lied. Um, before we actually put these on there, we're gonna take this microfiber towel I talked about earlier, or you can use your provided alcohol wipes. I'm just gonna use this since I have it here handy. Um, we're gonna just gonna clean this up a little bit. I'm using some 91% isopropyl alcohol. Put a little dab on there, and we are going to wipe the underside and get rid of any residue that may be on there. Okay, that was kind of a pain in the butt to clean, but we've got it all cleaned up. 
the bottom of the mouse is all cleaned up, it is time to apply the core pads. Just for simplicity's sake, we're gonna start with the puck here. Try and center it up as best we can. I'll make sure we can get it in the, in the edge here. I think I've done it. The cool thing about the core pads over the Tiger Ice is there's actually two sets here. So if these wear down super quick, I've got another set ready to go. There's the puck. Now we're gonna start on the mouse itself. Try to be as exact as we can here. This on nice and even, symmetrical. Actually looks pretty good. Heel there. Trying to avoid touching the adhesive. Line it up as best we can. Again, that looks pretty good. And then let's do larger front pad. We'll be done. Just like that. I kind of set it up on that front edge and then just like let it fall over. All right. That's all I'm on there. Let's go ahead and put the puck on. Okay, so now the new feet are on here and we're going to do a nice little scratch test again or a sound test, so to speak. All right, so it is, it's quieter. It's got more of a, uh, it's just a smoother sound. It's still, it's still pretty loud, but it is a smoother kind of loud. It's less, less raspy. Played them back to back there for you guys too, so you could see, or hear rather, the, the difference in the two. But yeah, there you have it. Super simple. We have got, let me see if I can, uh, well, I can show you guys here. To show you here behind me <laughs> but uh yeah now here you go core pads installed um these are ready to go i'm probably going to get a little aim practice in not today but soon i'll do a little aim labs or a kovacs and uh check it out and uh we'll we'll do some fps streams at some point to check them out as well but it it this feels much better than those tiger eyes had gotten i think the tiger eyes were just worn out and uh i wanted to try out some core pads instead um once these wear out both sets i'll probably go check out some hyperglides and then after that i'll kind of make a decision on which ones i prefer the most but if you guys have any questions about my experience with either one of these be sure to drop them in the comments or if you have any questions about the install i'm happy to answer those as well hope you guys enjoyed this video um if you did leave a like. If you did not a dislike, that's fine. And if you enjoy gaming content and streaming content and stuff like this, be sure to drop a uh, subscribe and check in and see what I got going at a later date as well. All right. Y'all enjoy your day. I will see y'all around on the next one.